Hello students, I am Said Juma Darwish, a biology teacher, and I hope you are in a good health and me too. Welcome again in biology lesson. Today, we will learn about personal hygiene and good manner. So let's be together from the beginning to the end of the lesson. Can you tell me any observation have you made from this picture, please? Yes? Tell me, please, my dears. Uh-huh. Can you tell me why a person shown in a picture washes his body? In order to keep his body clean, and remain healthy. Very nice, my dears. What advice can you provide to your fellow students and other viewers? My advice to the students and other viewers is that we should wash our bodies every day in order to have good, healthy my dears and other viewers, if we will perform a such dimensioned practice, we will be a person with the proper personal hygiene. Personal hygiene. Say again, please. Personal hygiene. Good, my dears. What else? can we do to remain healthy forever? Always wear clean clothes, wash your hands with soap and clean water after going to the toilet and before you eat. Keep your nail clean, brush your teeth at least twice a day in the morning and before you sleep. Do not spit on the ground, wash and comb your hair every day. Therefore, I want you to define the term personal hygiene as our main topic today. Who can try, please? Uh -huh. Asha? Can you try, please? Good, my dears. Personal hygiene is the practice of keeping your body, belongings, and environment clean in order to remain healthy. Let's say together, my dears. Personal hygiene is the practice of keeping your body, belongings, and environment clean in order to remain healthy.
Well done. Therefore, my dears, in order to remain healthy, we should practice a certain action wherever and whenever is required to do so. A such action we can mention before, which are always wear clean clothes. Wash your hands with soap and clean water. After going to the toilet and before you eat, keep your nail clean. Brush your teeth at least twice a day, in the morning and before you eat. Brush your teeth at least twice a day, in the morning and before you sleep. Do not spit on the ground. Wash and comb your hairs every day. My dears, these practices are so many, and not only these, but also others are there. These practices also are called the principle of personal hygiene. Can we say together please, principles of personal hygiene. Thus, you should know that for any practice you think if you will do, we will make your health be better and healthy is a principle of personal hygiene. My dears, can you mention some materials that are used to make our bodies clean? Let's mention together towels, towels, soap, soap, clean water, clean water, tooth brush, tooth brush, broom, broom, blades, blades. Thank you. There are so many, but let's stop here. My dears, could you tell me the uses of each item? Yes, I can, my teacher. Towel, it is used for drying our bodies after taking a bath or after washing our hands. Towel, is used for drying our bodies after taking a bath or after washing our hands. Soap, it is used for washing our clothes and bodies. Soap, it is used for washing our clothes and bodies. Okay, let me now explain the use of clean water for you. Clean water, it is used for washing our clothes, bodies, and in brushing our teeth. Clean water, it is used for washing our clothes, bodies, and in brushing our teeth. Now for you, that you are following this lesson, yes? Try, please, the uses of toothbrush. Toothbrush, it is used for brushing our teeth. Toothbrush, it is used for brushing our teeth. You know what? Don't share a toothbrush. Broom, it is used for sweeping our surrounding environment. 
broom, it is used for sweeping our surrounding environment. Blade, it is used for cutting our nails. Blade, it is used for cutting our nails. Also, don't shear the blades. At the part your self-study, read your textbook and find other materials that are used to clean our bodies and make our environment clean. Also, don't forget the match the mentioned materials from the text and those that are found at home or schools compounds. My dear students and other viewers, please view the following video carefully. Sorry teacher, may I help you? Yes, you can help me my dears. Thank you my teacher. Thank you very much for your helping. God blessing you. You are welcome my dear. Thank you. Are you respecting your parents, teachers and your friends? Why not my dears? Don't be like that, my dears. From now, make sure you respect your parents, teachers, and other peoples at your surrounding you are. My dears, if you will respect the other people, a lot of people will love you, and you will live better life. Sure, my dears. Can you mention a things which are acceptable in our societies by which people should have? Mm -hmm. Who can try please? Good my dears. Can we clap one please? Thank you. Good. Such things are to say thank you. When you are given something to someone. Say please when requesting for something. Welcome visitors warmly. Be helpful to other people. Be respectful. Do not use full language. Avoid criticizing foods prepared by other people. My dears, the above mentioned are some behavior by which people should have so as to be acceptable in his or her society. And also we may call principles of good manner. Can you repeat the word please? Principles of good manner. My dears, all acceptable behaviors in our societies is called good manner. Therefore, we can define the term good manner as the behavior that are socially acceptable. Let's say together, my dears. Good manner are behavior that are socially acceptable. My dears, I have a simple question for you. 
which things can help us so as to maintain personal hygiene and good manner. My dears, who can try please? Yes? How will I try please? Don't feel shy my dears. Uh huh. Good. Clap three for Howler, please. Thank you very much. Sad things are, firstly, my dears, not people who have a good personal hygiene and good manner and learn from them. Then ensure that you listen to advice from the other peoples. And lastly, acquire the items needed to keep yourself and your environment clean and learn how to use them. My dears, after learning a lot concerning with the good manner, let's now move to another aspect, which is maintaining proper personal hygiene during puberty. My lovely students and other viewers, here I see the word puberty. What does it mean? Who can try please? Yes? Mm hmm Good. Thank you very much. Puberty is the period by which a children begin to mature biologically, psychologically, and socially. Therefore, during this time, there are a lot of changes by which children undergo. Thus, children should know the following so as to ensure he or she maintain personal hygiene during this time. Take a bath at least twice daily. Use a good soap. Use good quality of soap or lemon if possible. So as to minimize bad smell or sweat. Wear clean clothes all the time. Wash your clothes regularly. Girls should wear sanitary pads during menstruation. And change them often. My dears, during this period, we have seen a lot of changes by which children undergo. Such changes is like uh, behavior. Children may behave different from what acceptable to the society. Thus, other parents or children themselves should take the following measures so as to maintain a good manner during the puberty. Do not engage in sexual proximity.
get guidance from the parents or religious leaders. Apologize if you hurt other people's feelings. Get involved in activities like sports, debates, and others in order to refresh your minds. My dears, let's now move to the last aspect, which is importance of personal hygiene and good manner. For what I know, for what you think, is there any necessarily for people to have a proper personal hygiene and good manner? Uh huh. Is there any necessarily for people to have a proper personal hygiene and good manner? Oh, if it's there, what are them? Tell me, please, my dears. Uh huh. Very nice. Can we clap three, please? Again. Thank you very much. My dears, if a person has a personal hygiene, and good manner. He or she will have a good health. Sure. Be more acceptable and respectable in this society. Also, will have a good personal appearance. Will be a role model for other people in this society. My dears, can you tell me what we have learned today? Yes. Our lesson today was about personal hygiene and good manner. Principle of personal hygiene and good manner. Requirement of personal hygiene and good manner. Maintenance of personal hygiene and good manner during the puberty and lastly was importance of personal hygiene and good manner. Thank you very much, my dears. After that, now... Let us take a task to do for what we have learned. Question number one. A. What is good manner? What is good manner? B. Mention three behaviors that are not acceptable in your society. Mention three behaviors that are not acceptable in your society. C. Explain why the mentioned above behaviors are not acceptable in your society. Explain why the mentioned above behaviors are not acceptable 
in your society. Question number two. Darwish, if the student at Mtakuja Secondary School, frequently he suffers from cholera disease. He uses a lot of effort of finding the best ways of protecting his body from being infected by cholera. But until now, he is not successful. Again, Darwish is a student at Mtakuja Secondary School. Frequently, he suffer from cholera disease. He uses a lot of efforts of finding the best ways of protecting his body from being infected by cholera. But until now, he is not successful. A. As a student of Mtakuja Secondary Schools, advise Darwish what to do so as to maintain a good healthy. Give three points. As a student of Mtakuja Secondary Schools, advise Darwish what to do so as to maintain good healthy. Give three points. B. Talk to Darwish the major importance of proper personal hygiene and good manner. Talk to Darwish the major importance of proper personal hygiene and good manner. Mention three points. B. Talk to Darwish the major importance of proper personal hygiene and good manner. Mention three points. C. Tell us how a person can prevent bad smell during puberty. Tell us how a person can prevent a bad smell during puberty. Give three points. Thank you very much, my dears. And it is the end of our lesson today. And uh, up to here, I have nothing to say except thank you very much for your good participation and well attention. Have a nice day.